Uh, Maya for that update and let's get you back to some more local news now and the Jokali sector remains largely informal despite employing 16.4 million people in the country. Being an election year, promises are rife on the formalization of the sector for financial and tax inclusion. Kitchens brand George Otieno interacted with the mechanics and artisans of Grogon area along Kirinyaga Road, Nairobi, to have a feel of their reactions. Take a look. Grogon area, Kirinyaga Road, Nairobi. 19 year old Boniface Mwaniki goes about his business normally in the afternoon. He's done fixing a problem in one of the car engines and proceeds to fit the tires of another. We witness as he enjoys his calling and admires his proficiency at it. But don't be fooled, he did not go to college to gain these skills. Having dropped out of school at Form 3 back in 2018, he started the job a year later at Vibes Auto Spares Garage. Okay. Okay. He earns a daily wage, even confessing that his best gig paid him a handsome 5,000 Kenya shillings in a day. He, however, hopes to make more and become better at his craft, though he is not keen on going back to school. He is a mechanic. He is a mechanic. He is a mechanic. Boniface is among the 16.4 million Kenyans earning a living off daily gigs in craftsmanship, welding, mechanics, plumbing, carpentry and other related services but do not have school qualifications. This huge number is now attracting the political class to craft manifestos to address their needs. The reason being as a new presidential candidate, Raila Odinga, with the recognition of prior learning RPL initiative, which seeks to formalize the sector. Down on the ground, there is mixed reaction about it, as some welcome it, while others are a bit hesitant, with various concerns. <laughs> One such person is Martin Kiarie, the owner of Vibes Autospares and Boniface's employer. While he welcomes the assessment and certification, he says the government should also allocate designated areas for such practices. The government should come up with somewhere where we can, we can be able to, to purchase, if it's land for example, so that these mechanics, they can have a place they can, they can, uh, they can be working for. You know, during Moy era, it was a time they, they actually considered the mechanics. Even at this time, when Raira is coming in, or whoever is coming in, we would really want them to consider the mechanics. Okay. If it's like uh, the plots that we have across here, we can, they, can have, they can have like purchase one of them so that at the end of the day, these mechanics can have somewhere they can, they can rely on. According to the Kenya National Qualification Authority, KNQA, recognition of prior learning or RPL is the process used to identify, assess and certify candidates' knowledge, skills and competencies acquired in non-formal or informal learning, such as work or life experiences, against prescribed standards or learning outcomes. This approach will be key in ensuring skilled labor like Boniface get certified and give them a new lease of life. I dream yangu. Watu engineering wu mkubwa. Okwe? We are engineering. Engineering mkubwa. Industrialization is changing real fast and Kenya seeks to be part of that big industrial revolution. But while at it, perhaps formalization of this informal sector that employs so many people in the country could be the remedy. Brian Jodotieno from Kirinyaga Road, Go Downs in Nairobi County. Thank you so much, uh, Brian, for that uh, detailed report. And let's keep an eye on just how this...